What's up? It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, of course. And we're back on IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor in case you didn't know. That's ICYDK.blog. Make sure you check them out on mobile devices in the world wide web. Before we get started, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss one video. Let's go. And we're going to wrap up. The Grammys from last night, Grammys 2024, it was a pre very good show, and we're just going to give you some wrap-up on some of the things that happened and some of the things were, that were said, all right? So, let's recap at the Grammys and the snubs as well. Now, as we said before, Killer Mike won three awards, then he was arrested, you know, after the show, allegedly for misdemeanors. Oh, he he wasn't even at, uh it wasn't even after the show, it was during the show. Right after you know, he had got his awards. Um, they said that it had nothing to do with that night, and it was also said that he was going to be released last night. Not sure whether they did or not, but shout out to Killer Mike, man. You got y'all gonna need to get yourself together, man. Shout out to the girl T Swizzle, T Swizzle, Taylor Swift. Becomes the first artist in history to win the album of the year four times. Wow. She won for Midnight's, you know, and Taylor Swift has a new album coming out called The Tortured Poets Department. And that's out on April 19th. So all of y'all better hurry up and drop at least a month in advance <laughs> or two months after. <laughs> One or the other. I'm so serious. When Taylor's dropping, y'all need about two, three week layaway. But shout out to the girl T Swizzle. Miley Cyrus won Record of the Year and performed Flowers. She also won for Best Pop Solo Performance for Flowers. Um, the song of the year was What Was I Made For? Miss Billie Eilish. Victoria Monet won Best New Artist. Okay? Victoria Monet also won the Best R&B Album for Jaguar 2. Coco Jones, congratulations to her, won Best R&B Performance for ICU. Now, the Best R&B Song was Scissor Snooze. Okay? Um, and she also won for Best Progressive R&B album for SOS. Congratulations. Go out to Scissor there. Uh, I call this one the best melodic rap. I knew this was going to happen. I called it J. Cole, J. Cole and Lil Durk. Okay, all my life. Um, we mentioned Killer Mike. He won the best rap song, you know, the scientists and engineers. He also won best rap album for Michael. Now... Uh, the moments were Jay-Z's speech, and when he came up, he got like the Icon Image Award or what happened. When he came up, Jay-Z took a dig at the Grammys and took a dig at some people, you know, and gave some people, like he gave some artists advice. So let's take a listen to what Jay-Z said, and then we'll come back and unpack it. I usually say it's a sippy cup for blue... <laughs> But Blue's grown up now. She doesn't take sippy cups. And she has her own Grammys. Um, first of all, um, thanks to Dr. Trey. He said he in the house. He's somewhere. Oh, there he is. Andre Young, thank you, sir. For all the doors that you opened, you know, showed us that we can be um, rock stars. Seeing you on the Rolling Stone. Obviously, there's Run DMC with the leathers and the Aerosmith. But when you came out west, you took it to a whole new level, put us on covers, Rolling Stone, put us around the world, you and Snoop, all that y'all did, all the records y'all broke. So thank you for this. Um, honored, honored to accept it. Honored to accept it. And thank you to the Black Music Collective for all the work that you guys do. Scholarships for young creatives. And hopefully, you know, I'm adding to, you know, what you guys are doing out here. Obviously... Uh, it's uh, it's great to have a, an award um, for such an icon. How far we've come with uh, Will Smith and them 
Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince winning their first Grammy in 89 and boycotting because it wasn't televised. And then they went to like a hotel and watched the Grammys. I didn't even understand what the... <laughs> wasn't a great boycott. Um, <laughs> we're here. But then, 98, I took a page out of their book. I was nominated for the best rap album and DMX had dropped two albums that year. They both were number one, shout out to DMX. And he wasn't nominated at all. So I boycotted and I watched the Grammys. <laughs> I'm just saying, we just, we want y'all to get it right. We love y'all, we love y'all, we love y'all. We want y'all to get it right, at least get it close to right. And obviously it's subjective. Y'all don't gotta clap at everything. Obviously it's, sub <laughs> obviously it's subjective because you know, it's music and it's opinion based, but you know, some things, you know, I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won album of the year. So even by your own metrics, that doesn't work. Think about that. The most Grammys, never won album of the year. That doesn't work. You know, some of you, some of you gonna go home tonight and feel like you've been robbed. Some of you made it robbed. Some of you don't belong in the category. <laughs> oh, no, 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 that was it. No, when I get nervous, I tell the truth. Um, but outside of that, outside of that, you know, we gotta keep showing up. And forget the Grammys for a second, just in life. As, I, as my daughter st sits and stares at me nervous as I am. Um, um, just in life, you gotta keep showing up. Just keep showing up. Forget the Grammys, you gotta keep showing up until, you, until they give you all those accolades you feel you deserve, until they call you chairman, until they call you a genius, until they call you the greatest of all time. You feel me? That was the one and only Sean Carter, AKA Jay-Z, with his Grammy speech, and every time Jay-Z gets on the mic and says something, People are at attention. Um, he spoke on some very good points on some things that people have been wondering for years. You know, the last uh, black woman to win album of the year was Lauren Hill. And I believe that was 1999. So she's the last uh, black woman to win album of the year. It's, it's been 24 years. I think it's about that time. Um... And then there's some people that say, I mean, you, you you take this moment to defend Beyonce, which he should as his wife. They're like, I mean, pipe down. What, she got 33 Grammys, 34? <laughs> I know Beyonce is not really the one to for, for the sympathy, to use sympathy on. She has 34 Grammys, right? I know she's never won out of the year, which is a travesty. But there's also a lot of other travesties of people who don't have any Grammys. And they should have won at some point in their career. Like I said that about Nicki Minaj. I don't feel though she should have won one for Barbie's World or for Super Freaky Girl. But songs in the past, Moment for Life, uh, Starships or what have you. You know, I feel though she should have won that. And definitely should have won, she should have won new artists. But y'all let me know what you think about what Jay-Z said. Now we'll go over some snubs and a couple other things. Um, first thing is, uh, there was a little incident when Taylor Swift came and got her award for album of the year. She came up there, she was excited, she had her friends with her, and Celine Dion gave it to her, and she kind of like just took the award from Celine and didn't say anything. And a lot of people took notice of that, and they're like, you know, Celine Dion is, a, is an icon, look at the way... Miley Cyrus is acting towards Mariah Carey. Well, Celine Dion is in that same breath. And they just felt as though it was a little shady, you know, that Taylor just didn't didn't even acknowledge that this was actually Celine Dion giving her an award. And but Taylor Swift fixed that. She knew that as soon as she got back to the Taylor Swift is so in touch. She didn't have a phone up, up she wasn't looking at her phone, right? But she got when she got backstage, before she can do anything, she realized that, oh my God, I 
I shaded Selena, and and she said this is going to be all over the internet before she even got a chance to look at the internet. I heard she said, "Oh my God, this is going to be all over the internet." Let me go apologize, sir. And she said she was just she apologized to her. She said, you know, she she knows that she loves her. She's told her on other occasions, but she just got lost in the moment. She took some pictures with her, and she you know she asked her how is she feeling, and all is well. So people that was trying to make a beef out of it, Taylor Swift already cleared that up with Celine Dion. So shout out to Taylor Swift and shout out to the great Celine Dion. The snubs people were talking about, of course, Nicki Minaj. Got snubbed for two. Um, um, Ice Spice, I believe, had three nominations. She did not win. And a, a big snub was Alana Del Rey. A lot of people felt those SZA got snubbed for album of the year. And Lana Del Rey, five nominations, zero wins. Gives her a total of 11 noms and zero wins. So, I mean, you know, Taylor Swift brought up on stage and said, that she didn't believe that a lot of girls would be where they would be right now if it wasn't for Lana Del Rey. And I agree with her. So hopefully Lana will get that, you know, Grammy on the next go round. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of the show, what you thought of the performances, and the shade. <laughs> so boy, having Hollywood for the IE Network. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share the video with your friends.